Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to Gear Garage. So today, Zach and I want to show you an external four to one system that can be used when you need kind of a quick and dirty mechanical advantage uh, using minimal gear that probably two people could carry in a kayak. So this was sent to us by our friend Mark Hurst um, and we want to show you how it works. So right now, Zach's over there pinned on a rock. I've got a Wrap 3 Pull 2 anchor already set up here on the shore. And let's go ahead and pull Zach off this rock. Zach, rope! Okay, so here I am stuck on a rock again, and Nick's gonna help pull me off with some mechanical advantage, which you don't always need. Like, you don't always need mechanical advantage, but in this case, I'm really stuck. And it's just him, so it's gonna, he's gonna need some extra pull. And what I'm gonna use is uh, my flip line that also kind of doubles as an anchor on the boat. So I'm just gonna attach this one. There's different ways to create a two-point anchor, and I like to use two D-rings when we're pulling just to spread out the load. And with this fancy flip line, it's super easy to create an anchor. And it's really good to practice this from being in the boat because it's different to set up from this angle versus that angle. So Nick's throwing me a rope. Zach, rope! Oh, good throw. And I'm gonna attach the back of the bag on the rope, make sure my beaner's locked, and then Nick's gonna pull that tight. So now he has a good attachment to the boat that he can pull from. Cool, so now we've got the other end of our rope that Zach just anchored to his boat, and uh, we're gonna set up our external four to one system to help pull him off the rock. So first step is going to be to take a carabiner and clip it to our anchor here. I'm then going to tie a munter hitch that is tied off with a mule hitch. And this is going to allow us to have some kind of progress capture and also be able to put slack into the system if we need to. So I have my munter hitch, pull it tight, and then add my mule hitch to lock it off. So now we're going to take our piece of tubular webbing. This could be a flip line or a piece of webbing that you're able to keep in your PFD or your boat. And we're going to attach on an external four to one onto this fixed line. So the first step is going to be taking a Prusik loop and tying it with a three wrap Prusik onto our fixed line. I'm going to take that and clip a carabiner to that. We're then going to take our piece of tubular webbing. This is a 20 foot piece. Um, you could do it with less. And I'm going to clove hitch a carabiner onto the end of it. You don't necessarily have to use a clove hitch. You could use a water knot. I just like the clove hitch because it's quick and easy and unties a little bit easier than a water knot. I'm then going to take this and clip it through that carabiner so that it's hanging off the end like that. We then take the other end of our webbing and come back to our anchor, bring it back to the anchor, and then tie another clove hitch into the middle of the webbing with the carabiner on that and then clip that into our anchor. We'll then take our, the end of our webbing that's attached to that clove hitch, so this is the tail end, and pass it back through the carabiner on the other end of the webbing and lock that off. We can take the slack that is in this webbing and slide our Prusik loop out as far as we can. And now we have an external four to one using the webbing onto our fixed line that's gonna allow us to pull tension in this fixed line. So as I pull on this webbing, you'll notice me getting slack in my rope here as the webbing pulls tension on Zach's raft. 
like so. So I can, this is something that I can operate by myself here. And I can also tighten the slack out of the system because I have this Munter mule hitch over here if I have another person who's then able to come in and help with the rescue. So the nice thing about using this tubular webbing is that when the tubular webbing is running through these carabiners, we have very little friction between the webbing and the carabiner. And so this is a system that allows us to not have to carry necessary, necessarily carry pulleys on our person. Um, we can build this four to one mechanical advantage system without any pulleys. Oh, you can do a progress capture and operate the system at the same time by yourself. So we have our four to one set up here. And I'm going to go ahead and take my munter or my mule hitch out of the system and keep tension on that braking strand with my one hand. I can then take this other part of the system in my left hand, be pulling, and then take, the, take in the slack with the munter. Be pulling, and then take in the slack with the munter. Be pulling, and take in the slack with the munter. If I need a break and I'm getting tired because this is really exhausting work, I can then come back up here and tie it off with another mule hitch. And there it is. So just to reiterate, this is not an actual swift water rescue class. If you, this is just us kind of playing around with some stuff that we were shown. Um, so this takes a lot of practice. Um, so feel free to go out there, play with it, and uh, see how you like it for yourself.